Hey gang, today we are at Universal Studios and we're doing something we've never done before. So, you gotta come along. Come along. Oh. It's based off our name. Okay, I lied. I've never done it before, but this guy has been lucky to do this now twice. And what are we doing today, Trav? The IP tour at Universal Studios. We're trying to meet up, so we're rushing to the area where you meet up for the VIP tours. And I have never done a VIP tour here at Universal, so I'm very excited. It usually is between eight to 10 people you're allowed to bring, so we do have a big group today, and it's gonna be for eight hours. We're gonna get to do both the parks. We're gonna get to go to the Wizarding World. They're providing us breakfast and lunch. It's gonna be a day to remember, gang, for sure. And we have arrived. This is the VIP tour check-in production personnel only. So we're gonna be a part of the show today. We're in, we got a little lanyard and a little pass. And by we, I'll show you who's here. It's Kristen. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. Woo! It's Sean. Hello, it's me. Nate's here. <laughs> hey, friends. <laughs> and it's oh, Maria. Guys, I'm so excited. I feel so she, Maria is our VIP tour guide. I and am, she's yeah. also the VIP. She's both. Um, I, I feel very important right now. You are very important. very important. It's gonna be such a good day. I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel special just because of our pretty necklaces. Yeah, I know. And it <laughs> says in big bold letters, VIP. 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 And the park is actually not even open yet, you guys. They are having to escort us to breakfast through Hollywood Boulevard. This is incredible. Wow. And for our breakfast, they are bringing us over to Cafe La Bamba. And they are starting us out with all the pastries over here. We have some warm apple oatmeal flan, some croissants, some elderberry croissants, some blueberry muffins, and some dark chocolate chip muffins. Travis is getting some eggies. How good does that look? Real good. Can I have some of your tots? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Pauline, give me some of your tots. No, go find your own. There's bacon and pancakes and eggs and tater tots. And breakfast was fantastic. And now the park is open. It's hopping. And we're going to hop on this VIP tour. Our tour guide is here. After breakfast, we wanted to get some breakfast beverages. So we had to start out the VIP tour with a little VIP drink. So we all got a little mimosa. Here's to our VIP tour. Cheers, Cheers. to Michael. Cheers. Michael. You guys, Michael's here. Hi. He is our awesome VIP tour guide. Yes. We're super pumped for the day. Oh, I am excited as well. <laughs> How long have you been doing this for? Um, I've actually worked for Universal for three years now um, and uh, been with VIP tours for just about a year. All yeah. right. That means we're going to have a really good one, you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is not only a VIP tour, but it's also sometimes a backstage tour. So whenever we go backstage, we can't film too much. Whatever I can film, I will try to show. He's doing bottle tricks. He's excited. Yeah. We're, we're feeling happy, especially because we crossed over to Islands of Adventure. Look at this. We're already in the other park, so we'll definitely be going back to Universal Studios and getting on some stuff there. But we wanted to start out over here for the day. And the reason why we wanted to hop over to Islands of Adventure first is because they have some of your big heavy hitter attractions. The rides that are really hard to get on, have really long wait times. One being Hagrid's in the Wizarding World, and then also Velocicoaster, which even though I don't do dinosaur rides, that's more of a roller coaster than a dinosaur ride. So I'll definitely go on that. So we wanted to come and get the like big guns out of the way, and then we'll kind of do some of the small stuff. So Hogsmeade, here we come. We're starting in the Wizarding World. rides here at Universal, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. 
Rubius Hagrid is Keeper of Keys and Creatures at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Today he's invited you all to a very special Care of Magical Creatures lesson, showing off a brand new creature, a blast and its fruit. It is the combination of a fire crab and a manticore, which when crossed creates something pretty spicy. So Hagrid has to keep it in an outbuilding at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. Um, today, Arthur Weasley, father to Ron Weasley, has been busy duplicating Hagrid's iconic motorbike uh, so you can get to the lesson. He's also equipped them all with dragon fire so you can blast yourself out of any situations you may find yourself tangled in, but nothing ever goes wrong with Hagrid, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. This is a high speed roller coaster topping out at 50 miles per hour. It features the most magnetic launches of any roller coaster in the entire world. Seven. It also features the world's fastest track switches, enabling you to go forwards and backwards, as well as a few other unique track elements I'll allow you to experience on your own. Just got off Hagrid's, not for the first time, no, but for the second time. On the VIP tour, you can loop these rides as many times as you want. Our tour guide actually told us that one time, a family did it 25 times in a row. So they pretty much spent their whole day just doing Hagrid's, which we want to get a little bit more done, but getting to do it twice was already once in a lifetime. Such a fun time. And we have hopped into Marvel Superhero Island because our tour guide actually got us a time slot to meet some superheroes. Throughout Superhero Island, the superheroes do come throughout the day. You can wait in line to meet them. But luckily when you're on a VIP tour, Michael was able to reserve a specific time that they will come to us. So we're like waiting in this very discreet location, right? It's a private, private location. Maria's really excited. She's and we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> It's gonna be really good. Yeah, she's got the marble oh, stance. I gotta practice, I can't stretch. She's got it, she's got it. Oh, wow. The X-Men are here. <laughs> the ladies. Yes, ladies. We got some supreme girl power over there. Oh, and look who finally decided to join the party. <laughs> They're having a superhero pose competition. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh my, whoa! I think I know someone who has a better superhero pose, though. <laughs> or Sean's going to try to do his pose. Or have a double one, you know? Double fist. And now, now Maria is posing with Captain America. It's all happening. Oh, wow. You know, I started off with eight legs and I refined back to two, so I have some experience. Incredible! Oh, oh my goodness. That's All right, we gotta get a group photo. Okay. Oh, Spider Man's cool. getting hot, yes. Come on in. Is this a video, Ash? Uh, I'll do a video first. Okay, is this video first? Okay, I'll just be really excited. Yeah. We're all excited. We're all excited. We're all excited. I'm really excited too. I just have that neutral face. <laughs> nice. Woo! And we got to see Peter Parker, and now we are getting a backstage look at his ride. We're heading into the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. We once again are not allowed to bring you guys along back there because it is very much backstage, but they're gonna show us the ride vehicle, how it moves, how it interacts with the screen. Uh, so we're gonna head back to the maintenance area. Once we hit this uh, wall right here, we can't film anymore, unfortunately. Uh, keep the secrets to you. That was so much fun getting to see behind the scenes at Spider-Man. They took us into the maintenance bay. There was actually mechanics working on all the machines and they made one of the ride vehicles do the entire show. And although it's been very fun encountering superheroes, there is one thing that the group, the crew is wanting to encounter that I, I, I don't think I can encounter it. They are ready to encounter Blue herself the Velociraptor over here at Raptor Encounter. So our tour guide, Michael, is skipping us to the front of the line. And by us, I mean you guys and Travis. Bye. Have fun being scared out of your lives. Sean, what you thinking about? Thinking about that dinosaur. Thinking about, uh, you know, gonna play a little you know, catch with them and see if she plays. All right, we're heading in. I promise didn't want to do it. She's very scared. I've never met a raptor before. I've never met a raptor. 
black and yellow line. Folks, you're going to be taking a photo with blue. Yeah, so we need you on the black and yellow line. And we got to be careful because eye contact's like picking a fight. Folks, let's hand a camera to Kenny. Uh -oh. Hammer, oh, hand the camera to Kenny. Hand it to Kenny. Yeah, right. Go ahead, hop on up there with your friends. Total danger is more fun when we're together. <laughs> Careful, I should have led with this one. Eye contact with Blue is like picking a fight. Oh, so yet yeah, it was okay. an end to confrontation. Just tell her you're sorry you didn't mean it. Sorry, Blue. No, okay, get the heck out of there, folks. Get, 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 get out of there. Move it. Oh my goodness, I barely got through editing that video. And on these VIP tours, you saw they gave us breakfast, but not only do they give you one meal, they give you two meals, and you get to choose what restaurant you wanna dine at. You can choose to eat at one of the walk-up cheaper restaurants. We chose a little bit different. We have hopped over to the Lost Continent because we are gonna be dining at Mythos Restaurant, and it is awarded the world's best theme park restaurant by the theme park insider and we're about to find out why fancy fish, I got <laughs> fancy octopus, I got all the fancy stuff. Almost cost a hundred dollars, literally on its own. That's a, a, a giant chunk of what the VIP tour already costs. Makes it so worth How it. crazy is that? And the boys decided to start with some old fashions. This is the Immortal Old Fashion. It's made with Four Roses Bourbon, Creme de Fermat, Contral liqueur finished with orange bitters for $15. I just ordered a little white claw, but at Mythos, they're super, super fancy. It's the Greek tradition. So they gave me my white claw and a wine glass. There's no there's no laws when you're when you're drinking the claws. Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws, baby. It tastes very, very clawy. And so since we get four starters to share, we are gonna get the grilled lamb meatballs. It's grilled spiced lamb with rosemary infused polenta, olive, sweet chili marinara, and mint chimichurri, as well as the calamari. It's tender calamari, flash fried, served with Spanish chorizo aioli, charred with lemon. And for our third, this is the Mediterranean grilled octopus. It's citrus charred octopus, roasted corn, and camelotta olive relish. Yeah, the calamari is looking incredible with the garlic aioli on the bottom. Even the octopus is looking appetizing. And then this is cool. It's like a little spinach dip with some bread service. Kristen, I was just calling it spinach dip. <laughs> Spinacopita. Spinacopita. Spanacopita dip is what it's called. Not spinach dip. I'll just say spin dip or spin dip. Spinacopita dip. Spanacopita dip. Nate's going in on the calamari. Very good. Break me off a piece of that octopus. That looks like a dragon tail. Oh, it's nice and soft. Wow, that was incredible. I'm taking that. So octopus is usually rubbery in most restaurants. This is not. This is no, melting. this is good stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Sink it in. Sink it. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good shot. Should we cheers on octopus? Yeah, but mine looks like chicken. Really good to me. I don't know even what There's to say. There's a nice little lemon flavor. Yeah. I was going to say it tastes octopusy, but I feel like I shouldn't say that. Cheers. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> no, I was expecting extreme seafood. And it, um, it's not. It's tender. It's delicious. I'm an octopus eater now. How about you? I am. <laughs> Me and Travis's entrees. This is the spinach and garlic ravioli. It's Davina tomatoes, sweet peas, herb whipped ricotta, and basil pesto cream sauce. 
and Travis had to go with the beef loin medallions. It's Yukon potato puree, sauteed haricot verts, watermelon radish, watercress, and a red wine reduction. I thought that the ravioli was actually vegetarian, but it came to me with steak on it. And I think it's because you're able to order like two different entrees. Like, Nate, didn't you like order two different things? Well, yeah, because I, I went for a serving turf. So you can do a surf and turf. I think they gave me a vegetarian and turf because now I have That's steak. a grass fed uh, turf. A grass fed <laughs> turf, exactly. <laughs> now I have both, but I'm not complaining. It looks really amazing. Kristen also did get the surf and turf with risotto. Oh my goodness, look at that big old plate. And all the desserts have come for Maria's birthday. Happy birthday, Maria. Not to me, it's your birthday. What is that? It's the creme brulee. Oh, that looks so good. And look at my little banana bread pudding. Nate, what, what did, you did you get? This is the fanciest thing I've ever seen. Pumpkin bread pudding. Yum, look with at the that. little candied sugar. It looks, it's amazing. Oh, yum. Everyone's gotta try it. This is incredible with the bananas and the plantain sticking out of it. And the ice cream is peanut butter ice cream. How incredible is this dessert? And to end your meal, you can even get a little espresso with some rock candy to swirl. And the food here is absolutely fantastic. That was an amazing lunch. I would love to come back here for dinner when it's dark out. But when it's light out, they have another highlight here that's pretty special. I'm sure you can actually ask for one of these tables out here and look at what you get to look at. Hulk <laughs> going on by, looking over the lagoon. Well, Mythos was absolutely fantastic. Even if you are not on a VIP tour, please go and eat there. You will not be disappointed from the appetizers to the entrees to the desserts. They knocked it out of the park. And also keeping on the theme of mythology, we are mythically all of a sudden back in Universal Studios. We park hop right after and we are rushing to get to our next attraction. And we are rushing, but the boys back here are just like taking their old grand time, just moseying on in while we're out of breath. <laughs> Played by you. But when he finally sees you with the last bit of strength that he has, he's gonna leap into your arms and give you a big old doggy kiss right on the lips. Who is the dog's uncle? Who is the And now that the show is over, the entire crowd is exiting, but we are sticking around to meet yes. to meet the actors, the animal actors. I'm so excited. Oh, oh no my. Way. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, and I can't. Oh my God. Maddie, come here. Give her just a second. She's gonna get her up there and okay. then you guys can go around. Hi, what's her name? Oh, I love you. Oh, Maggie. Maggie, you're beautiful. Hi, Maggie. Oh, my goodness. Come to Hi, sweetie. Oh, my gosh, you're so Oh, my goodness, you're a thick girl. Okay, listen to your trainer. Oh, so Maggie. Go ahead, Maggie. Come on up. Maggie knows I love her. Oh, my Oh, my goodness. You've been on here before. Oh, my Lord. She wants to treat This is incredible. She's so cute. Hi, Miss Maggie. Oh my goodness. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. You guys see? Look how cute. That's all right. All right. VIP tour made. I got to pet 
a five-year-old St. Bernard. Maggie was so precious. We weren't sure if birds were gonna come out or other dogs, but could there have been any greater dog than the St. Bernard? She was absolutely beautiful. VIP tour made. Thank you so much again for Magical Vacation Planners for planning this whole day for us. We are making like lasting theme park memories as a whole gang today. It's It's been so much fun. I see some little Reese's candy on the ground leading us in, going to ET. Another attraction that was here on that day has either been majorly refurbished or replaced, no longer reflecting its original experience, all with the exception of the ET adventure. Uh, the story here, if you are familiar with the E.T. film, is that E.T. is still on our home planet, um, but without his magic Kaylee touch, his home planet, the green planet, and his friends have become sick. So you must get him back home so he can bring his friends and planet back to life. So you will be on some bikes. Um, don't worry, you don't have to pedal, uh, but your mission will be to rescue him and get him home. All right, we so, can do yeah. it, right, crew? Let's rescue E.T. That was great, Chris, get the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh. Eat. Go to Tickly. Hurry. Tickly. Out. Mad dog. You have saved our planet. Come celebrate with us. classic universal ride men in black but we're not going to do the ride we're actually just going to go to a little special character meet and greet you'll see what i'm talking about what is happening what is happening Whoa. <laughs> this is the immigration floor at mib oh hello hi <laughs> We're meeting some of the aliens at the desk. So yeah, usually the queue runs up here to the ride. And we're now a part of the ride. How oh, cool. Doing some very serious business, I see. They have like a little guest book over here you can sign. We gotta sign our name, let's see. Promise, alien name, Essie. More. It's always been my alien name because it's promise spelled backwards. Prison transport launching. Well, that was also a once in a lifetime experience. This tour is wrapping up, and I can tell you already, I totally think it's worth the price of admission. Price of admission does change depending on the season, sometimes 300, anywhere from 300 to 500. But even at its top tier price, a hand guided tour, back entrance to rides and shows, getting to meet amazing animals and characters, this VIP tour has officially made me feel VIP, I think for the first time ever. I feel very, very, very blessed to be here for sure. And night has finally fallen, so we have about five minutes left to this eight hour tour. And we're gonna just do one more little extra special thing that you couldn't do on an ordinary day. Oh, we have to go in a special elevator to get to our final destination. Oh, it does have NBC. Peacock carpet. I feel like we're at 30 Rock. This is known as the Jimmy Fallon Observation Deck, and it's really just known for observing things. But look at the beauty that you get to observe. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Have a great night. <laughs> Thank you, friends. 
thank you also to the MVP people. They are the one that planned this whole day for us. All their information is linked down below. But for now, please make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. And peace, love, and positivity, and all the good things. Love you guys. Bye.